November 20th, Ron Sanderson. In the right hands, a challenge can show off God's greatness. Ron Sanderson was still young when experts heaped a bunch of imaginary limits on him. One expert advised Ron's mom saying, he will never read beyond a seventh grade level. He'll never attend college. He'll never have meaningful relationships in life and he definitely won't excel in sports. But these dire predictions didn't hold Ron back. He said, my mom was determined to prove that experts were wrong. The relentless belief and committed support of his parents lit a fire in Ron that caused him to excel. And Ron made a choice to see the world through the belief that God empowers us with his grace to overcome every obstacle. At the 2002 commencement at Oral Roberts University, thousands of attendees streamed in. As Ron stepped into the Maybe Center to be honored as a 4.0 Masters of Divinity graduate, his keen memory played a mini movie of the lifetime of investment in him that his parents had made, the many years of his own hard work, and the impossibilities that God had made possible for him. He remembered the time that his mom gave up her career as an art teacher to become a full-time Ron teacher. She educated herself about autism, while at the same time she taught him how to see his uniqueness as a gift rather than a limitation. She inspired a valuable perspective in his uncommon mind, which caused him to conquer challenge after challenge. He wasn't taught that he couldn't. He was taught that he could, and he believed it. Ron vividly remembered the prairie dog toy he had bonded with during his seventh Christmas, and he remembered learning how to read and write like his friends. Then in the fifth grade, he had entered an art contest with one of his prairie dog posters that he made, and he won. He remembered the rush of pride he had felt during his first brush with notoriety, as he smiled for his photo with the captain of the Detroit Pistons basketball team and future Hall of Fame inductee, Isaiah Thomas. In the theater of his mind, Ron heard the crowd cheering him on as an eighth grade track star at Hart Middle School while he set his third school record. As he sat down in his seat for the commencement, Ron fully took in the moment. After the opening ceremony, rows of graduates made their way toward the stage to receive their diplomas. Ron watched in anticipation until it was time for his section to go forward. He stood and joined his peers in this extraordinary moment. Ron stepped onto the stage and approached the podium with a wide smile. His Master of Divinity diploma was placed into his hand and he held yet another confirmation of his belief that obstacles can be overcome by God's grace. A life that could have been defined by limits became an example of God's strength made perfect in weakness. Ron said, thanks to the help of my parents and the grace of God, I am living my dream. In Isaiah 40, 29 through 31, it says, he gives strength to the weary and to him who lacks might, he increases power. Though youth grow weary and tired and vigorous young men stumble badly, those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength and they will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired and they will walk and not become weary. In what ways can you change your perspective today? A problem can become a turning point if it lands in the right hands. In the right hands, a challenge can show off God's greatness. Hello, man. My name is Ryan. I'm a narrator here with 365 Christian Men. Ron's story uh, was a story of someone who was told no a lot in his life. And with autism and so many hills to climb and things to conquer, um, man, I'm sure there was a lot of times that he thought he couldn't do something. And in our lives, um, there's a lot of limiters that society tries to put on you or norms try to put on you, whether it's felonies or broken relationships or whatever it could be in your life. Um, but Ron's story is different. He chose to overcome things. He chose to get a master's degree. He chose to just not take no for an answer. 
So men, um, today I would challenge you. If there's areas in your life that you think you're too old to do this or in a certain situation to do that, just go for it. Just trust the Lord, go for it, and figure out a way.